Catherine Ashton's second visit in just two weeks. Her mission to press for an inclusive political transition, one that includes the Muslim Brotherhood. Some analysts say Ashton is seeking a peaceful exit for the Muslim Brotherhood. Others argue she's actually hunting a way out for the military. They are trying to uh, get an exit to the, uh, the army leaders that are now in, in, in the dilemma, exactly. I think that they are uh, in the middle of something that they cannot have an exit out of it. I think Ashton, which was a negotiator, Europe is a part in the political process in Egypt and it's still, it's still a part. Ashton met interim president Adli Mansour, vice president for international affairs Mohammed El Baradei and defense minister Abdel Fattah El Sisi. From the other side, she met representatives from the Muslim Brotherhood, but she released no statement after her meetings. The visit uh, comes um, as a, a sign of uh, the European keenness on uh, promoting uh, ties with Egypt in all aspects, especially security-wise, in the security field because um, the European Union is uh, very keen to, uh, to keep the stability and security in Egypt and what is happening since July the 3rd, uh, what they cannot call till now it's a military coup. Saturday's violence was the deadliest since Morsi's ouster earlier this month. Neither side seems willing to give ground. The Muslim Brotherhood was planning to march on the headquarters of military intelligence on Monday night, defying a warning from the army. On Tuesday, Brotherhood is calling for a million-man march. After both Morsi's supporters and opponents grew suspicious of the U.S. involvement in domestic affairs, the EU has attempted to mediate in Egypt's political crisis. And they're not wasting any opportunity to maintain strong ties with Europe's main gate to the Middle East and Africa. عادل المحروي سي سي تي في كايرو